Actually, this building was designed by a local architect, Mohammad Kama Yaakob, and his architectural design uh, is actually based on a blend of various aspects of the Malay culture. Among the prominent architectural features are the following. The base of the theatre takes the shape of a floating wild bulan or traditional Malay kite. The shape of the building portrays the Siri Junjong, a multi tile floral arrangement of Siri or betel leaves used as a symbolic piece for Malay weddings, festivities, and welcoming ceremonies. The layout of the building follows the pattern of a typical Malay house or rumah Melayu, which generally has three major sections. The building's lobby is the equivalent of the serambi or veranda. The auditorium represents the rumah ibu, while the main stage and rehearsal hall is equivalent to the rumah dapur or kitchen. The staircases leading to the grand entrance depict the staircase of a traditional Malacca house. The royal boxes on both sides of the auditorium is patterned after the large and spacious windows of a Malay house. The grand entrance of the theatre replicates the Balairong Seri, palace hall of Malay royal palaces in the olden days. The design of the theatre lobby on the third floor takes the shape of a rabana ubi, a traditional Malay drum. There were 10 rooms designated for art culture in the Istana Budaya. Each room has its own name based on the Malay tradition expression such as Seri Nilam, Seri Mutiara, Seri Andalas, Seri Banang, Seri Baduri, Seri Kasturi, Seri Mersing, Layang Emas, Kama Dewanga, and Kama Kencana. While the other spaces were named Jalamas, Selasar Pawana, Selasar Pualam, Selasar Bayu, Selasar Awan, and Laman Putri. The interior finishes you by using local materials such as marble tile from Yangani and tropical high quality timber from Indoor. Decorated with handcuffed bayan tree leaf motif. The rooms must serve as the opening story in the theatre while COVID. In addition, several paintings painted by National Art Laureate. Datuk Sheikh Ahmad Jamal were used to create tasteful art deco to the wall. Istana Budaya has four main levels. The first one is the ground level where all the cafe, lobby and also the information centre are located. The floor level is the first and grand level for Panggung Sari and this level is where the VVIP seating is located. This is the grand circle level, it's where the original main entrance is located. This door is named Gerbang Keris. It's a traditionally Malay carved door made from wood and also marble. The stairs all are originated from traditional Malay house in Malacca. Still in the grand circle level, the way the main entrance stairs to the door of Panggung Sari symbolize the main entrance of Balerong Sari, Istana of Malay Sultanate in the old days. The facilities available in Istana Budaya are First, the Belly Studio, which is also known as Layang Mas. It is a place where all actors and performers practice over here. Next, they have the wardrobe, which is a place for them to store and repair all costumes. Thirdly, they have the library for them to collect and store all documents related to performing art. And fourth, the Sri Siantan, which is a training room for them to practice before the show starts. We also have 18 dressing rooms which is equipped with toilet, shower and CCTV. And lastly, they have the Serenilam which is a multi-purpose room to help all press conference, photo shoots, seminars and trainings. Istana Budaya also has their own prayer room which is located at the ground floor and they also have their own box office which is open daily for them to purchase tickets and they have their own VVIP waiting and reception room which is known as Karma Kun Channel and fourthly they have their Seri Bana which is a media conference room and, and next we have the parking which is available in Istana Budaya and last but not least we have the cafe available at the first floor which offers all selection of western and local cuisines this is the main entrance of Panggung Sari which is the main auditorium of Istana Budaya. Panggung Sari is one of the 10 most sophisticated theatre in the world and also the first theatre in Asia which use state-of-art stage equipment. The interior of Panggung Sari reminisces the palace in old ages. The VVIP porches on the left and right hand side adopt the concept of Malay house window. 
The Pangong Sari can accommodate up to 1,386 audiences, 661 person in the Balai Sari Penghadapan, which is on the first floor, 325 person in the Balai Sari Utama, which is on the second floor, and 302 person in the Balai Sari Peninja, which is on the third floor. The orchestra pit can accommodate 98 person when not in use. All the seats are with numbers. There are small lights on the floor to let the spectators to identify their seats. Other than that, on the right hand side of Pangong Sari, there is a smaller theatre which is suitable for smaller production named Lambang Sari. Lambang Sari can accommodate 281 audiences. The stage of Lambang Sari is in the form of arena with an area of 50 square meters. Sana Budaya always update technology as they accordance to the technology what which is using by the other countries in theatre. Stage mechanism is always checked probably so that it's ready to be used anytime double leg lift could also be lifted or lowered as high or low as 9 meters so that its performance could be exploded in the creativity in the performance. There are 61 units of flying bars for the purpose of hanging sensory that is fully automated with the speed of flying bar set in accordance with the purpose team's desire. Intelligent light for the purpose of lighting is always added to make sure that it could be accommodate lighting technology from time to time. Special effect like audio-visual effect, dry ice and others is used to accordance with the production team's desire. The plan of Istana Budaya is symmetrically balanced. It is inspired by the traditional moon kite flying. The emphasis of this building is the turquoise fold on the roof, an intricate design of the foyer. The rhythmic repetition of the turquoise folds on the roof of Istana Budaya is very unique compared to the other buildings around the Istana Budaya. Istana Budaya also gives a feeling of harmony because there are elements of water around the building such as the fountain in front of the Istana Budaya and also the Titi Wangsa Lake located right behind it.